Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to our part 2 of our cell and key circuit analysis. In today's video, we're just going to find component values which will give us the desired transfer function we found in the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'd urge you to watch that first, just so you know how we came to this point here. Okay, let's start, shall we? When choosing component values to give a specific transfer function, you usually have to make some sort of assumptions or guesses early on and then hope that all of your components are within your bounds. After a while, this should become second nature and you should be able to choose components which are likely to give you results that you want. For this one here, we're going to firstly make the assumption that the capacitor C1 is equal to the capacitor C2 and they're both equal to 0.1 microfarad. Now if you're familiar with components, uh, this is pretty standard, uh, nothing too wild. It allows us to simplify this S term down into 2 over, let's call our new capacitor value C, C times R2. Now we can set this equal to the coefficient on our S term and solve for our resistor R2 as we have a value for the capacitor. Let's do that now. If we set this equal to the square root of 2 times 2000 pi. Okay, so we're going to multiply through by our resistor R2 which gives us 2 equals root 2 times 2000 pi times R2. Sorry, the 2 is divided by C. Then we can divide through by root 2, 2000 pi, which will give us 2 divided by C times root 2 times 2000 pi equals R2. As we know our value for C, we can plug this in and get a value for R2. That would be 2 divided by 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times root 2 times 2000 pi, which will equal 22.5 kilo ohms. Okay, so we found our first resistor value. Our next step is to use our second equation, plug in all the values that we have so far, and find an equation for R1. Remember, our equation for R1 can be given by 1 divided by C1, C2, which will now be C squared, multiplied by R2, the 22.5 kilo ohm resistor we just found. So, let's do that now. 1 divided by 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 squared, as we have two Cs, times our 22 kilo ohm times our resistor R1 is equal to and this is where we compare our terms again the coefficient of our s to the zero term which is 2000 pi squared excellent so now we can do the same thing as we did in the previous example we can multiply through by R1 and divide through by 2000 pi squared, which will give us 1 divided by 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6, and that's squared as we have two terms, times 22.5 kilo ohms times our 2000 pi squared. Which will be equal to R1. Just crunching the numbers, we get roughly 112. So, we can say that R1 can have the resistance value of 100 ohms. And there we have it. We've found the component values which are required to give us a high pass filter with a negative 3 dB frequency at 1 kilohertz. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Good work if you stuck through this whole thing. I know it was a long one. If you had any problems at all, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next one.